Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to use one of the tool which is written in Go and is used for identification of subdomain takeover vulnerabilities. Now, as this tool is written in Go, it is faster and because of its concurrency, it makes our process much more fast to identify multiple subdomains that are vulnerable to subdomain takeover vulnerabilities. So let's quickly jump into and see how can you do the installation of the tool and how you can identify targets to be vulnerable to subdomain takeover vulnerabilities. For that, you just need to come to this GitHub repository, which is subject. And you can see over here, the installation commands are being given. Now for this, you need to have Go installed into your computer as a prerequisite. So again, if you do not have Go installed, please install Go Lang. So after you have installed it, you can simply type the command, which is go get github.com slash hacker slash subject as given over here to install the latest version of subject. Perfect. So I have done the installation of subject into my computer as I have go pre-installed. So now let's just type subject to see if it is running or no. And you can see you will be able to see a help menu and a usage menu which confirms that it has successfully installed. All right, so now we want to give a list of subdomains to subject for identification of subdomain takeover vulnerability. So now we are going to supply a list of subdomains using the find domain tool. So the command is find domain hyphen T, which stands for the target. And we are going to give the target, which is srsecure.xyz. And we are going to add a flag, which is hyphen hyphen quite. Remember guys, this flag is used when we do not want to see the verbose message or we do not want to see the banner of find domain tool. Now, whatever will be the output of the find domain tool, we are going to take that output into a file. We are going to use a command which is t and I'm going to append the output into a file which is sites.txt. All right, as you can see, we have successfully enumerated all the subdomains for the target into a file called as sites.txt. Let's count how many subdomains are there and in total of 107 subdomains are there which we have identified. Perfect. So now we have the list of subdomains to be checked for subdomain takeover vulnerabilities. Let's quickly jump on to how to use a subject and its command. As you can see, first you have to write subject, then followed by hyphen W which stands for the word list which contains the subdomains and the file is sites.txt we are going to give the number of threads to be 100 to increase the speed so that we get faster results and our process gets completed quickly we are going to give a timeout of 30 seconds so this timeout is Basically, when subject is not able to connect to any of the subdomain, it will automatically give up onto that subdomain after 30 seconds. And we are going to save the output into a file called as results.txt, which is denoted by a flag, which is hyphen O. And at the end, we have given hyphen SSL. Hyphen SSL means that also test the website with SSL as well. Now, running this command directly on the terminal will start the subdomain takeover scan onto the list of targets into the sites.txt. And it was really very quick to identify. And you can see it has completed the scan as well for 107 domains in just four to five seconds and has identified that this subdomain is vulnerable, which is redmi k20.srsecure.xyz. And we have already seen that this subdomain is vulnerable to Shopify takeover because we have pointed it to Shopify, but we have not taken over the account. So I hope you guys understood 
how you can use subject to mass scale or identify subdomains for any target program. Thank you.